You know, uh, there are a lot of politicians who talk tough. What I love about this guy, whether you agree or disagree with him, uh, Mark Meadows, the fine state Republican of North Carolina, is he talked tough and paid dearly for it. Uh, the le House leadership punished him, put him in a broom closet. Well, not quite a broom closet, but a, a, a place with no windows. Uh, because he dared to question and challenge what the leadership wanted him to do. So he knows what it's like to pay a political price for his strong feelings. They folded like cheap suits afterwards, by the way, and he triumphed. But the, the, Mark Meadows is backing Ted Cruz. And Congressman, uh, your view is that to challenge the system, you've got to risk ticking off the system. Your candidate has, you have, uh, but there's hell to pay for doing that, right? Well, there is, and I, I think, Neil, the interesting thing about that is is that whenever you stand with the people, uh, there's a group that... Well, no, you were standing alone in a closet. Well, I was. You know, it was an army people of one. You. It was very dark. You were knocking on the door. That's right, and, you know, right. we got to talk about that. But, you know, ultimately, when, when you stand with the people and, and their voice, it makes enemies. Uh, but it makes you a hero at home. That's what people are, are wanting. They're wanting but somebody to fight for. But that, because the, the rap against him, remember Bob Dole disliked him more than he did Trump? Well, so that I, he was disrupted, that he, he'd have trouble getting his own side with him, let alone reaching over to the other side. Well, uh, I, I think a lot of that, I don't know that Bob Dole and Ted Cruz ever served together, so no. it was interesting the perspective that, that Bob had. But I think the other part of that is, is in Washington, D.C., there's a fight for power. And when you stand up against that, as Ted Cruz has, what happens is it costs you in reputation. Uh, you know, your name is, is drug through the mud. But I think more importantly than that is in the privacy of, of offices where there's not cameras or microphones. Ted Cruz is the same guy I know him personally. He's willing to fight not only no, for... No, he's, a, he's a very likable guy. I think that gets a bad rap for that. But having said that, though... Right. Uh, he's got an uphill climb here. He does. And, and, he and does. I just was talking to Ben Stein, like Governor Rick Scott and so many others say, you know, this 1237 number, it's not a magic number. If Trump has a big lead, just give it to him. Well, I disagree with that. We're a nation of laws, and we're also uh, a party of rules. And we have some rules in place, and they're very clear. But what they say is going on, Congress. And I understand the point of view, but right. I agree. There are rules. Yeah. Is that it gets to a first ballot, doesn't get it. Second ballot, doesn't get it. Third ballot, then it gets so... He loses it. His people are ticked off because they say, we entered this convention with far more delegates, far more popular vote support. Some other Gabon has taken this from us, and they're upset. Well, but, but playing by the rules, and when you really look at it, as long as we don't change the rules, there was some uh, in, the, in the last convention, as you know, they changed the rules, and those who were supporting Ron Paul were very I upset know. because they changed well, the rules. One of those screen. rules was that you had to win eight states exactly. by 50% or more, or get half the vote. Only one guy qualifies for that. That's Donald Trump, not right your guy. now. But by the end, Ted Cruz will qualify under that. Under well, they would have rule. to make a new rule then. Uh, well, no, I think I think both Ted Cruz and Donald Trump will have the prerequisite eight victories with a majority of the delegates. What have they the done? Is your guy done? Well, I, obviously, it it is troubling because then you have to change the rules, uh, even though there is a scenario where where obviously the number of delegates. There's really three different scenarios for Ted Cruz to be the nominee. Uh, that's to win it outright. That path is very narrow right. for both he and Donald Trump. Uh, it's to have other delegates to coalesce around him, uh, whether they Good Marco enough. Rubio. Right. It could. Right. Uh, but, the, but the last is, is as that first ballot goes. I don't see anybody getting 1237. Then all of a sudden the negotiations go. And it breaks I, out. It, it does. But food tasters. Uh, it's Everyone important to be a delegate tasters. and be there in Cleveland. It's going to be fascinating. It will. It's going to be fascinating. Congressman, always good seeing you. It's great to be Thank with you. Thank you very, very much.